welcome back to another video of interview series hello everybody this is navel today i'm going to talk about what is the difference between truncate delete and drop command in sql so this is also a very important questions which is asked in every interview of develop sql development so let's understand it practically first then we'll come to the difference part so here we have a table called emp1 and there are 12 record in the table truncate command is basically a ddl command ddl data definition language command and before executing this command we need to have a alter permission into the table if we do not have alter permission we cannot execute this command because it deletes all the records from the table and once the truncate command is executed we cannot roll it back because it's deleted permanently we cannot roll it back and and if the records are deleted the auto incremented value like identity column will be start from the seed point which we have given uh, the in in the table so once we use the truncate table command all the records will be deleted and the auto incremented value starts from scratch means from the initial point so let's understand it so here the truncate table command syntax is truncate table and the table name here if i use the truncate table command all the records will be deleted and the once i insert some record into it it id will be start from one so let's execute the query and there are no record in the table and try to insert some one record into it insert into emp1 name salary then manager id values novel then salary is let's say 10000 manager id is let's say 1 so insert one record if i insert one record the id column will be start from one so here the this is truncate table command so now come to the ppt and we'll understand it on detail truncate is a ddl command and we cannot roll it back because it deletes all the data from the table uh, we cannot roll it back and basically whole table is logged to remove all the records and we cannot use where clause in it because it's already deleting all the records from the table it is generally faster than the delete command and it reset auto incremented value and if we use truncate table command it deletes all the record and it resets the auto incremental value and we need to have the alter permission if we want to use or we want to execute the truncate table command in sql let's come to the delete here we have one record let's insert some more record into it i have a table from where i can insert some record name salary manager id com let's the table is employee now we have 12 record in the table so de delete is a dml command dml means data manipulation language we are not changing the definition of the table we are just deleting the rows on the basis if you have a conditions we can delete certain rows without where clause we can delete all the records delete and truncate delete from table is equal to truncate table but use the delete command the auto incremental value will not be reset from one it will start from where the last id number was generated plus one so it can be rolled back because it's a dml command so we can roll it back we can use where clause in it also so let's write the delete command statement delete table then table sorry delete from the table name where let's say id is 12 and try to insert one record into it then we will see the difference between the truncate and delete insert into emp1 so the id will be 13 not 12 so let's see and now you can see that the id is 13 now it's not 12 because we have deleted id 12 but it it inserted from 13 if we have used the truncate command or we have executed the truncate command it will start from 1 so that is the difference between truncate and delete here it is a dml command it can be rolled back each row in the table is locked the delete command goes to each and every row to lead the record so that's why it's a slower than the truncate command we can use where clause in it and it retains the identity value because 
here we have seen that we have deleted the 12th id record uh, and once i insert one record it id is generated 13 and we need to have the delete permission before executing the delete command now come to the drop drop is uh, also a ddl command and the syntax of drop is drop table and then table name and it will delete all the records all the structure of the table it will delete everything which is related to the table it will delete the indexes from it it will uh, delete the permissions and have privileges it will delete on we cannot use rollback in it because it's permanently deleted drop table and then table name and let's try to search the table and we will not able to find the table name because the table is deleted permanently we cannot roll it back and it is a ddl command all the table rows indexes privilege will be removed no dml triggers will be fired because it's the table is permanently deleted we cannot roll it back so that was the difference between truncate delete and drop command in sql i hope you like the video so please watch all the videos related to the sql and so that you can upgrade yourself on daily basis thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day